Have you ever wondered how ChatGPT actually makes money? Most of us use it for free, but behind the scenes, OpenAI earns billions of dollars through ChatGPT. Today, I'll walk you through it in simple terms, with examples that make it easy to understand. The first and biggest way ChatGPT makes money is through subscriptions. Think of it like YouTube or Spotify. You can use it for free, but if you want the premium version, you pay a monthly fee. With ChatGPT, the Plus plan costs $20 a month, and the Team plan is $25 a month. By paying, you unlock special tools like DALLE for generating images, the ability to browse the internet, advanced data analysis, and even custom GPTS. Just like a gym membership gives steady income every month, subscriptions give OpenAI reliable revenue from millions of users. The second way is through API services. Now don't worry if that sounds technical. An API, or Application Programming Interface, is basically a bridge that lets different apps talk to each other. That's what you're seeing here. Facebook, Gmail, WooCommerce, Salesforce, HubSpot, and so many others can all connect through APIs. Instead of rebuilding the same features from scratch, they link their apps directly to ChatGPT's brain through APIs. Each time they do, OpenAI charges them, kind of like paying a toll to use a faster road. The third way is by selling training datasets. Remember, ChatGPT learned from massive collections of open datasets, web pages, books, and Wikipedia. OpenAI transforms raw data into clean, labeled, and engineered datasets, ready to train powerful AI models. OpenAI can license or sell similar datasets to companies that want to build their own AI. It's like selling textbooks to schools. OpenAI provides the knowledge, and others use it to train their own students, or in this case, their own AI models. The fourth way is through partnerships. OpenAI teams with major organizations to build new datasets and improve AI. Here are a few examples of partnerships with ChatGPT. Microsoft invested billions and integrated ChatGPT into Word, Excel, and Teams. Stripe uses ChatGPT for customer support and fraud detection. Khan Academy powers its AI tutors with GPT to help students learn. These partnerships generate revenue and make ChatGPT smarter and more widely used. The fifth way is consulting services. Here, OpenAI works like a high-end advisor for big companies. Instead of just giving them a chatbot, OpenAI sends its own expert engineers to build custom AI systems inside the company. For example, they've worked with the U.S. Department of Defense to create AI tools that analyze complex data and speed up decision-making. It's a premium service, often starting around $10 million, where companies pay OpenAI not just for the tech, but for their deep AI expertise. OpenAI's numbers tell a fascinating story. Revenue has skyrocketed from under a billion in 2022 to a projected 12 billion by 2025. User growth was just as stunning. By April 2025, OpenAI had already reached half a billion people. That was more than the entire population of the European Union. Investors like SoftBank, Microsoft, and NVIDIA are pouring in billions, betting big on the future of AI. They already hold 17% of the generative AI market, which is remarkable considering OpenAI only launched ChatGPT in late 2022. Now here's the twist. Despite being valued at over $300 billion, they still expect to lose around $44 billion by 2028. Why? Because training and running advanced AI models burns through enormous amounts of compute power and energy. And fun fact. OpenAI employs just over 500 people. To put that in perspective, TikTok has over 100,000 employees worldwide. So you've got a company with a small team, massive valuation, and growth that's reshaping the entire tech industry. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn more. Follow at scroll.ai on Instagram.